The most hated speedrun in Mario Odyssey is called Takatu Percent. It's where the only moons you can collect are the ones Takatu tells you to get, which he picks completely randomly. It's full of RNG, but if you know the moon names, it's really not that bad. So, I had Sine make a mod that puts every moon through Google Translate until the name is something completely different, and the results were so much better than I expected. Okay, ready? Let's do it. I'm like so excited for this because I think this is going to be a fun challenge, but it's also just going to be hilarious. Okay, so first we do have to get a story moon to start. We have to actually have to get two such four story moons to start. I'm going to try to avoid story moons. Like I'm not going to get them to make it the run faster like you would typically do. I want to see these moon names. All right, and let's see what's our first moon name going to be. First strong month. Oh no. Oh no. What? <laughs> what does that mean, dude? It's our first power moon turned into first strong month. This I'm so excited for this run. I'm genuinely so excited for this. So let's go do our first talk to. Let's see, buddy, we only need one. We got Wait, this one didn't come back to English, I think. What does Laniosa mean? Hold on, I'm gonna Google translate this. Oh no. I think that's just an English word because it just translated to Laniosta. Let's let's get a different moon, maybe. On the cliff. That's an easy one. Let's see what else he gives us, though. The other side of the abyss. Okay, well, on a cliff, I think we know exactly what that is. So let's go and get it. Why not? There we go. On the cliff. All right, on to Sand Kingdom. Rather than one Takatu moon we have to get now, there are a lot. We have 16 moons to get here. We could do it without getting a single story moon, and I'm going to try to. But if I'm really stuck, I might have to get a story moon. All right, Takatu, what you got for us? Let's get a good start. The mystery of the inverted frescoes. <laughs> what? Like, why are we not in English again? The mystery of the... Okay, well, that seems like the secret of the inverted pyramid, right? Hiking in the desert. Okay, that's probably the wa the Koopa trace walking one. Sandbox quiz. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, buddy. We, uh, we know which one that is. So let's go get these moons. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, I think that'll be 80. Let's go! Let's go! Come on. Hiking in the desert. Hiking in the desert. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. There we go. Sandbox quiz cool. Oh, I'm washed. There we go. We are into the pyramid. We know exactly what moon to get here. Mystery of the inverted frescoes. There we go. We got it. That is the exact one we were looking for. All right. Types of cacti. Okay. I mean, there's only like one cactus moon that I can get right now. A socially difficult place. <laughs> what? What does that mean, dude? A socially difficult place. All right. So this is, I think, types of cacti. Uh oh, it's cuckoo cactus. What? <laughs> it, you, it's normally called wandering cactus and now it's cuckoo cactus. So what is types of cacti? That moon's not available, is it? I thought this moon up here didn't exist yet. The, the Among Us one. Oh, it does exist. I thought this moon spawned in later. Okay, well, silly bee. This is definitely, this was the first one that came to mind, but I was like, that doesn't exist yet. Types of cacti. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, a socially difficult place. I have no idea what that could be. So my first thought was on the lone pillar. That is a moon name. A socially, what is it? In a solitary private room? That's so similar. Oh, no. Let's just go get some new names, you know? Maybe we'll find it, maybe we won't. We don't have to find it if he tells us. We could just start getting new ones. And next up, Bill's Balloon Maze. <laughs> Fill it up. What does that mean? I mean, I know, I, I know what moon it is because of Bill and Maze, I guess. You know what? I think I might know what socially difficult place is after seeing where it is on the list. This is not where the moon is. What, who am I kidding? Bull, balloon Maze Cross. Okay, that was the wrong one. Bill's Balloon Maze. Fill it up. Let's go. All right. I'm going to check a single moon. See if it's the one we're looking for. I think it's the secret moon in the pyramid. Well, wait. No, actually, I don't think it is because it would be next to... I'll look it up. 
Sand Kingdom Moon 20. That is... Inside a block is a hard place. What? A socially difficult place? A socially difficult place. Wow, okay. That that was a good one. I don't get it, but that was awesome. <laughs> um, Alright, we made it out of sand. 27 minutes in. Hey, I gotta interrupt the video real quick to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Factor 75. If you're like me, you order way too much takeout. And honestly, cooking is just too hard for a gamer like me to understand. But with Factor, it's never been easier. Factor delivers fresh, pre-prepped meals directly to your door. And each meal only takes two minutes to make. So you'll save tons of time on all the cooking, shopping, and cleanup. Plus, with over 35 meals to pick from each week, you won't get that feeling of eating the same thing every single day. I got sponsored by Factor last year, and honestly, I had such a good experience. I've been praying they'd sponsor the channel again. I can't cook at all, so I eat a lot of fast food and takeout. Not only does it make me feel gross, but it's also really expensive. With Factor though, the food is cheaper, healthier, and honestly better tasting than any fast food out there. Plus, if you ever want a break, Pausing or rescheduling your order is super simple. So, if you want to try Factor for yourself, click the link in the description to go to factor75.com and use my code on screen to get 50% off your first box. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. All right, talking to you, what you got for me, buddy? Super secret zip, successful initiatives? <laughs> what does that mean? Come on, please be right. Yes, let's go super secret zip and then a uh, successful initiative. There is one moon right here that has the word successful in it. So maybe it's this. Yeah, I memorized the pattern. What's it to you? Yo, successful initiatives. All right, Woody Kingdom, here we come. All right, talking to you, what you got for <laughs> crazy people with <laughs> That's what I call my Twitch chat, am I right, guys? <laughs> Crazy people with problems. What? Jumping through the woods and getting caught. That is so long that they had to squish the text. That's awesome. We know exactly what that is, though. So. Jumping through the woods and getting caught. There we go. All right, one more moon. And then we're going to have to look up what crazy people with problems is. A hard rock in a dense forest. Okay, that's easy. A hard rock in a dense forest. Huge. Uh, all right, let's get our Googles out. Number 16, crazy people with problems. The nut at the dead end? In what world does that make any sense? Oh my God, a nut, like a crazy person. Oh, that makes sense. Kind of. I don't get the the with problems part. Crazy person, a nut. That's crazy. All right, let's move on. All right, this kingdom we can go straight to talk to. Talk to what you got? Rock chip. What? What? Avoid wall decorations. Uh. Oh, avoiding fuzzies inside the wall. Is that what that is supposed to be? <laughs> All right, let's avoid those wall decorations, guys. Oh, damn it. Wait, I didn't check if that was right. It was avoid wall decorations. Let's go. All right, what do you got for me? Rest in peace, Captain Toad. Oh no, he's dead. What happened, Captain Toad? What happened to you, buddy? Oh, buddy, it's like I can see him here still. This is so sad. Bowser will pay for this. Rest in peace, my friend. All right, I still don't know what rock chip is. If I had to guess, maybe it's the one in the stairs. Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh, on an elevated stone pillar. We only need one more moon. Oh, this is rock chip. I'm so dumb. How did I not realize? I forgot this moon existed. Rock chip. All right, let's go. An easy, easy kingdom. Yep, 
now we got metro day metro is here we're gonna see if we can do it without getting any uh story moons there's plenty of moons to get jumping elf <laughs> what where did elf come from all right let's do jump rope uh jumping elf all right so we have jump rope hero and jump rope genius i think elf is more likely to unfortunately come from genius if i'm wrong i'm wrong but there's no way this isn't jumping elf All right, my guess is genius. If I'm wrong, this could be bad. Jumping elf, let's go! Hanging from a skyscraper. Uh, okay. Hop. <laughs> is this hop? What else could it be? This, this might be hop. Hop! Hop! Why are they so different? If one is called Jump Rope Hero and the other is called Jump Rope Genius, how did one become Hop and one become Jumping Elf? All right, so I think hanging from a skyscraper is actually going to be over here. All right, hanging from a skyscraper, I think... I think it's the one up top. When's the 100% run of this? I honestly, I'm trying to think of like, how can I come back to this mod? What? A vaulted atrium on the roof of a top tall building. What? Okay, that's starting to make me worried that it's not this other one okay and hanging from a skyscraper cool all right what you got for me now blowing in the wind i like the the casual blowing not blowing 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 in the wind you know uh what the hell is blowing in the wind blowing in, oh swaying in the breeze duh i just saw this this girder over here swinging and it just jump started my brain out of nowhere I knew I just wasn't thinking. All right, underground kingdom slot machine. Where did the underground come from? I guess Metro, but... Oh, I missed it, but I know what it is. Free parking, parking on the roof. This is very straightforward. All right, uh, two more moons. Two more moons and then we're done. Moonflame as a manga. <laughs> What is this? What does that mean? What? I mean, huge manga reference, but it doesn't make me any less confused. Let's see what else he gives us. No way I'm getting moon flame in manga. Moving neighbors. These don't make sense. We'll figure out what these are. Let's just get a story moon and then uh, we'll look up what these are. Cause this is crazy. Uh, 39, moving neighbors. Rewiring the neighborhood. Okay, that makes sense. The, the uh, outfit room. And then what is Moonflame as a manga? Oh, of course, Moon Shards Under Siege. Right, how could, how could I not have known that? Obviously, it's a Moon Shards Under Siege. That makes so much sense. All right, let's get out of here, dude. Let's get the heck out of Metro, put it in the past, and get to snow. There's not a lot of moons to pick from in snow. That's the weird thing about snow. Like half the moons in Snow Kingdom before you get peace are uh, story moons. I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do the race, unlock all the moons, and we just won't count those three moons we just got. All right, now Snow Kingdom has been saved. Time to time to do some Takatuin. All right, Note Punk Trunker. Okay, well, I mean, there's a Notes Moon. It's probably that, but what is Note Punk Trunker? Caught red-handed snowboarding. <laughs> got your ass. Okay, that's definitely the rabbit, I think. All right, we have the rabbit, which is caught red-handed snowboarding, I think, because I think that it has caught red-handed. Hey, come on. I hate this rabbit. Here we go. He's dead now. He's dead meat. You just got caught red-handed. You weren't snowboarding, but that doesn't matter. All right, and this one is definitely... Uh, I don't even remember the name because it was really weird, but we'll find out. Note Punk Trenker. Let's go, dude. I don't get it. A group of shrimp... <laughs> A group of shrimp eating ice cream? What is happening here? What could that possibly mean? We have a new best one. This is the best one. Crazy people with problems, get out of here. A group of shrimp eating ice cream? That is what I'm talking about. I mean, I've played a lot of Odyssey, right? And I don't think I've seen any shrimp, nor have I seen any of them eating ice cream. So this is where I'm real confused. All right, two more moons. Beyond limits. 
Why is it in all caps? What does that mean? Oh, what are these? A group of shrimp eating ice cream, cold water, and beyond limits. Oh, they're together. Which strawberry is this? Oh, it's gotta be the- it's gotta be this one! I just realized beyond limits, like, is the one above and then cold water. I mean, this is cold water. I forgot this strawberry existed, to be honest. But what the hell is a group of shrimp eating ice cream? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that could possibly be. Beyond limits! Cold water. Let's go. We have enough moons to leave, but what is a group of shrimp eating ice cream? I just got it. What could it possibly be? Ice dodging Goomba stack. What? Stack a couple Goombas. Make a make a an, an ice thing fall. Group of shrimp eating ice cream. I gotta tell you, I don't get it. I don't get it. But hey, teach their own, I guess. All right, let's go talk to talk to and get these moons, baby. Gardening at sea, seeds from the tub. Oh, that's the furthest one. <laughs> All right, let's get our butts over there. All right, finally got this seed. If it's not the right one, it said seeds from the tub. You know, that the lava is kind of like a hot tub. Oh no, seed gardening spring seeds. What? Seeds from the tub. It's the other really far one. No. Oh, this is much faster. I forgot that I could do rocket flower. <laughs> oh my god, that was kind of sweet. All right, if it's not this one, I don't know what to do. Seeds from the tub. Let's go. Okay, okay. Expand it. Period. What does that mean, dude? What does that mean? What could it possibly mean? How do I expand it? What would expanding it be like? Maybe it's the sub area, the lava one. Maybe. Ah, my input! Ah! 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 Oh! Is this expanded? Oh, this has got to be expanded. No, stretching the road? Oh, no. Oh, expand it. There we go. My god. All right. Rift in the trench. Oh, that's easy. That's easy, dude. Let's go. This is a rift in the trench, dude. If I've ever seen one, and I have. No, that wasn't it. Oh, that is not rift in a trench. Rift in a trench? Oh, oh, maybe I know what it is. Yes! Rift in the trench! Oh my god, 11 extra moons later, we've made it! We've made it! Let's go! Alright, you guys are gonna love this moon name. This is the one that I, um, saw before stream. <laughs> Puppies like to cook! It is so good, it's even better than I remembered! Puppies like to cook. Alright, Takatu, what do you got for us? Clip top! What? Are there any elements? <laughs> Okay, I think I know what that one is. I think I know what that one is somehow. I think it's, is this an ingredient too? I don't know, are there any elements? Let's find out. There are, let's go. <laughs> Vegetables. I mean, it's gotta be this one. I wish there was a period. What? Ingredient group highlights? What? What the hell is vegetables? Oh wait, I think it's this one over here. Shoot. Yes! Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Oh, interesting. I have a feeling I know which one this is just based on... It was like, I was going to guess it, but now based on its position, I think it's somehow lurking in the pillar shadow. No! Damn it! Okay. Could it be piled on salt? All right. Clip top? Oh, it could be clip top. Combination salt! Ah! And I can figure out clip top. We know it's around here. What you got for me, buddy? One more. Golden radish recipe two. That's easy. What? What? 
It was clip top the whole time? I thought that, but it didn't make any sense. I was like, what if it's atop the jutting crag? And then my brain was like, no, idiot. Why would it be that? On to Ruin Kingdom. I wonder what the moon name will be. I believe that the base one is Battle with the Lord of Lightning or something like that. What is this moon name going to be? <laughs> Not against lightning, period. Come on, man. <laughs> I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. All right. So Bowser's Kingdom, you are required to get eight moons. However, you get six just by doing the story moons. So technically, I only have to do two talk to moons. About Poison Swamp. Okay. Uh, so this is definitely about Poison Swamp. Ah. Son of the Underground. Okay. Well, I think, I think I know what it is. I mean, there's a specific moon that has underground in the name. I don't know about sun. I don't know where that came from, but I would think maybe it's underground Jizo. There we go. Sun of the underground, period. I'm going to uh, hit the Odyssey and uh, we'll go to Moon Kingdom. Well, we're done with the challenge. Now we just have to finish the run. Ready? Watch this. This is going to be a sick cut. Uh, just, oh man, I have to sneeze. <sighs> Achoo! Okay. And then after, after I beat the game, I'm going to sneeze again and it'll be like I sneezed and teleported to the end. Oh man, I have to sneeze. Uh, achoo! Uh, whoa, what the hell? How did I get here? That's crazy. 359.58. I slipped, bro. Oh, that's so embarrassing. This was honestly so much fun. This was like one of the most fun challenges I've ever done. This mod was incredible. Thank you again, Sine, for making it. Honestly, you know, if the video does well, whatever. If I think of an idea, I gotta come back to this mod. Thanks for watching. If you're on YouTube, uh, bye.